Hi, I'm Dr Dean Eggett. I'm a GP here at the Oakwood Surgery in Cantley in Doncaster. And today I'm doing a video about coughs, colds and the flu. So it's a bit of a dry topic, so I thought I'd bring along some help. So today on my right hand side I've got Jessica. Hello. Hi Jess. Hello. And on my left hand side I've got Alex. Hi. Hi Alexi. Hi. Yeah, it's a bit of a dull topic, I'm sorry, but it's dead important and there's lots to learn, so we thought we'd liven up a little bit with having these two cherubs along to help out. So Jess is my daughter and Alex is my son and they're trainee doctors, so they're going to tell you all about it. Should we get cracking? Yep, yeah. Bam. So, who's going to start? Who's going to tell me about coughs, colds and the flu? Yep, far away. So, when you get a cold, yeah. you can get a... A snotty nose, yeah. a headache. Feel free to help out if you want. Tummy ache. Yeah. And sometimes when you sneeze, it can reach up to the length of the classroom. <laughs> Where did you learn that from? Video. <laughs> what video is that? Maybe we should just put that video. I don't know. That's fantastic. So. Runny nose. Yeah. Sneeze up to the length of a classroom. <laughs> Tummy ache. What else did you say? Headache. Headache. Is that it? Yeah. Is that a cold? Yeah. Have we missed anything? Earache. Sorry. Have you missed anything? <laughs> no. No, she's fine. Earache. Earache, yeah. And what else do you get when you get a cold? Blood sometimes <coughs> comes out your nose when you're trying to blow it. Yeah, I guess it does. That's true. If you blow too hard, you can get blood out of your nose. You can by having it, and sometimes you can be sick by having the cough. You can, that's right. So you can cough loads, and you 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 gag quite a lot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you gag when you cough so much? Um, because. No idea. Do you want to help him out? Because. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you gag with? Um. You gag all the time. What do you gag yeah. with? I gag with um, peppers. Peppers. What, but why do you gag? So if I stuffed a pepper in there, why would it make you gag? Because you put too much in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it can do. But I don't think you cough and gag because you've got too much cough in your mouth. So why do you think? Because he gets soft food and soft food. Makes him feel sick. It does, yeah. So you've got a gag reflex in the back of your mouth, haven't you? Back yeah. of your throat. And if anything irritates the back of your throat, you can just make you gag and make you sick. So it's not all that unusual to gag. No. Something more entertaining. No. That. <laughs> it's not that unusual. <laughs> Sorry. No. What is it so entertaining about? It's no. It's not that unusual to gag when you cough a lot, is it? No. Okay, so when you get a cold, you get a cough, you get a headache, you get a runny nose, you get an earache, you get a tummy ache. That sounds horrible. Is it horrible? Yes. No! No, you quite like it, do you? Well, given that you like it, we'll just concentrate on you. I'm never talking to you. <laughs> no, me neither. He's strange. <laughs> so how do we make you feel better when you've got one of those horrible, nasty cold things? Antibiotics. No, Jessica! Oh. Cowpaw! Oh, what do you do? Cowpaw and Nurofen! <laughs> Cowpaw and Nurofen. Good answer. What do they do? Um, they help... We not take pipe. They do, that's right. They help bring your temperature down and they help you to stop hurting so much. Yeah. So why did you say antibiotics? As the daughter of a doctor and a, and a training doctor and that? Because it's medicine. It is medicine. And I thought that was the tablets that we Yeah, and that's kind of the problem and that's why we're doing the video really. So what, okay, let's go back to basics guys, back to basics. <laughs> How do you get an infection? I've, I've failed as a father, I've failed as a doctor. <laughs> Go on, then. Because there's lots of germs going around. There are lots of germs going around, that's right. And where do those germs go onto your body that infect you and give you a cough? Uh, sometimes in there, yeah. sometimes on there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what sort of bugs are there? Um, um, bugs. Ah, <gasps> oh, you know no. this. Do you know what no. sort of bugs there are? Yeah, but what 
what sort of bugs? So if we looked under your skin, we might have skin. Come on, come on, freeze! Please! <laughs> is, this, so, is that what causes your cold? Please! Hello, hello, Tommy! Excuse me? It's a bit mean. <laughs> so, <clears throat> bugs, viruses. Yeah. Bacteria. Infections, yeah. yeah. Well, infections are when your body's got these bugs oh. on you and they're not supposed to be there. Oh. So, viruses, bacteria, and fungus. They're the main ones, aren't they? Mm. And what causes a cold? I know. Yeah. Um, by having too much cough. Out of those three things, <laughs> come on, guys, think. Virus. Virus. Thank you. And what do antibiotics do? They help kill the cold. They kill bacteria. So what's the issue? If antibiotics kill bacteria. And colds are caused by viruses. What kills the virus? That's a good question. Is it antibiotics? No. Exactly. We're into a winner. And that's why you don't use antibiotics with colds. And that's why instead you use things like Calpol, so paracetamol, <laughs> or Neurofen, ibuprofen, to help bring your temperature <laughs> down and stop you hurting so much. But antibiotics don't help. Sorry. So what does help, apart from those two? Antibiotics. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> See what I've got to put up with? What, what else I didn't say that after. No. Mm. Well, you told him that. Yeah. So, um, what else helps? I know. Mm -hmm. um, injections? Just like that. Really? So, if you've got a cold, you've got me to bring you to a doctor for an injection? No. no. You... Stop. When you get a cold, what do you I want to do? I have to blow your nose! Well, blowing your nose helps to get rid of the bug, doesn't it? It sort of blows it out of your nose and it gets rid of all that gunk and stuff. Do you need some clues? Yeah. What makes you I feel better? I can prove you! Yeah, we already said that. What makes you feel better? You snuggling do... up with my teddy. Yeah, <laughs> snuggling. So why does snuggling help? Rest! Rest! No bloody athletics! Winner! Yeah, winner! Rest! No athletics! Yay. Why no athletics? I like doing athletics, but because it spreads the germs. It does, yeah. So when you've got an infection, you don't want to pump your heart too much because it'll spread the bugs about. So rest. Help your body repair itself. Because the main treatment for a virus is... One, two, three. <laughs> rest. It's rest. Yeah, rest. It just, your body fights it. You don't need anything from doctors. Your body will sort it out. I better get everything. <laughs> Whatever that is, a bit of cowpaw, a bit of ibuprofen, loads of fluids because you don't want to get dehydrated and this snuggle. Hand. And snuggle. And then it will magically go away. Now. How long does it. What? Moving on a bit. Yeah. How long does it take for you to get better? <gasps> Three you know, weeks! I wish. <gasps> a week! A week? Well, probably about. Three weeks! Three weeks! Three weeks. Oh, 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 wait, 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 there's a lot of numbers thrown around. A lot of numbers. Which one is it? Is it three days? Three weeks. Is it three weeks? Three weeks! You, you're kind of close. Two weeks! Two weeks! So, yeah. One week! Wait, 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 wait! Two weeks, nine days! <laughs> so, no, that's more. Bones, to tell us your answer. So, it's longer than three days. Mm -hmm. It's not quite three weeks. I would expect it to be sorted within about seven to ten days, maybe pushing two weeks. Uh, so, why do you guys keep saying three weeks? Uh, three weeks! Three weeks! The first number that came into Three. But why does Daddy keep telling you about coughs in three weeks? Why is that important? Oh, I know. Because because if you cough for three weeks, you need to see a doctor. Fantastic. Well, Yay, Eureka. We, we, we get there. She has learned something. Yeah, I'm Eureka, trying to use you want to feel loud. I'm going to give you the high five back. Take it back yeah, to the back. Thank you. <laughs> so, colds, we know what you feel like when you get one. We know that your body sorts it and snuggles makes it better. Lots of, <laughs> lots of fluids, Calpol, Brufen, no need to see a doctor. What's that? What, Brufen? Yeah. It's a neurofen. Oh, so, okay. Uh... Um, no need to see a doctor unless you've been coughing for about three weeks because it should have gone. So, let's pretend now. Let's pretend. Pretend mode. Pretend mode. Um, I don't pretend. know how to do pretend. Just turn it on. Ow. Let's pretend that you've got your cold, you're feeling rubbish, and you've had it for, say, <coughs> two, <coughs> two weeks. <coughs> when should you see it? <coughs> another week time. 
Well, you could just wait and you could die at home. That's not a good idea. So how can you tell when things are getting worse and getting better? Oh, I know. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ah, yeah, it is. You can tell if you're starting to like get like if you're starting to hurt under your eyes because that means your nose is so blocked that it's starting to go there. Yeah, it could do. Actually, that's right. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I'll let you off with that one. So if you're getting pain under there, so you've got something called a sinus under there, and sometimes that can respond to antibiotics. So that might be worthwhile seeing a doctor about. I think somebody's banging on the door now. Did you hear anything at the door? Yeah. Did you? Did you? I heard it. No. Right. <laughs> okay, staying on topic? Yep. No. Yeah. Colds, sinuses. P Three weeks. What else do we need to keep our eye out for? For seeking help from a doctor when you've got a cold. I know. Mm -hmm. Rashes. Rashes. Daddy. Yeah, so if you develop a rash you need to see a doctor. Yeah. I didn't I know. know. I guess. Spots. Yeah, spots. Well, spots and rashes are the same sort of thing, really, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, yeah. No, I mean, like, spots as in, like, the bumpy things, what's on there. I mean, the no. like, itchy things. Not them. Like my face. And, like, those itchy things on you. Oh, you oh. like hives? Like, oh, uh, no, reaction. no, that's... No, I don't mean the hive, I mean um, those things. Like moles? Yeah. No. Oh, no, 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 you no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's saying this because he's seen my other video about moles, so... Yes, sometimes you need to see a doctor about moles, but not in the context of a cough or a cold. So, staying on traffic, on, on topic, coughs and colds. <laughs> on, on traffic. Topic, on topic, thank you. <laughs> coughs and colds. If you've had a cough for three weeks or longer, you need to see a doctor. Doctor. Why else might you need to see? No, a doctor? actually, we need to see you. Well, you could see me. Um. Oh, if you start to struggle to breathe. That's right. So, if you're feeling short of breath. And by short of breath, I guess we mean if you're doing a simple activity like walking upstairs, which wouldn't normally make you short of puff, but you start to feel short of puff, you might need to see a doctor under that circumstance. Why else? If you're struggling, eating's actually not too much of a problem. But if you're struggling to drink, that's the problem. Why is it a problem? Because then Different for different people. In 12 weeks, in 20, in 24! I think we can safely say that you can't manage without water for very long. So if you're not drinking much and you're getting dehydrated, that can be dangerous, so you need to see a doctor. So yeah. if you're struggling to breathe, if you're not drinking much, or if you've had your cough longer than three weeks, you need to see a doctor. Also, another one might on this topic. What is it? If you wheeze like brown. If you wheeze brown? That sounds bad. Why would you wee be brown? <laughs> yeah, dehydration. That's one way to tell you. you mean, That's right, um, excellent. Um, I've got exactly the same but a different colour. Yellow means bad too. Well, yeah. Because yellow means you're not drunk enough and like, and you've drank too much juice. And, and Can you, you tell we talk drunk. a lot about we at home? So we, we're supposed to be quite see-through watery. If you're getting yellow we that's a bit dehydrated or stuff you've eaten, or brown, we use really dehydrated or stuff you need to know in blood. Yeah. So if there's any change in the colour, you need to see a doctor too. You thought it was once, but it was just an effort. It was just something <laughs> that's to right. say, That's it? right. Mm -hmm. Mummy was cleaning the toilets and I thought it was blood. Typical doctor kind of It was like, yeah. oh no, my, yeah. my wee's my wee's brown. Oh no, it was just No, I wasn't worried about me. I was worried about you guys. Yeah. I thought you had blood in your wee. Do you think that's everything to talk about with coughs and colds and stuff? We haven't talked much about flu though, have we? No. Should we do that for another video? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to say anything else? No. Do you want to say anything else? No. Should I do well, I know. Yeah. Um, if you have black pool. Black pool's a whole other topic, but I get the impression he's going to want to do a video about black poo, so let's uh, get that to some point. Uh, yeah, unfortunately it's a thing. So let me just quickly summarise then. So for colds, you tend to get symptoms of runny nose. Cough, sore throat, ear pain, kids often get to make, <coughs> bless you, sneezes, and symptoms right on cue. Well done. To make, sneezes! I know, you're right, we missed that one earlier. Run. To make yourself feel better, plenty of fluids so you don't get dehydrated, rest and snuggle, oh. paracetamol, I'm using painkillers to make yourself feel a bit more human. And it should just go away in about 7, 10, 12 days. Like 14 days! There are thereabouts. <laughs> but if 
It's been going on for three weeks, you need to see a doctor. If you're feeling short of puff, you need to see a doctor. If you're not drinking much, you need to see a doctor. If you're developing rashes, you need to see a doctor. The only thing that I would add to that, which these guys didn't say, is if you're feeling really sleepy, or somebody's starting to get confused, <laughs> then of course you need to see I get very sleepy because I can't sleep. Well, you love sleep, and he's always a bit confused and crazy. I, I, I hate sleep. sleep. Okay, so we need to say goodbye. See you all next time. See you next time. Bye! That's very unfortunate. Bye! Bye.